Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Remember this inverter from a previous video? Well, during my review of this inverter, I found something that I wanted to change. So I'm gonna do that today in this video. So let's get right into it. Now, if you recall from the first video on this inverter, it had 110 volt output at 60 Hertz. And of course, North America standard would be 120 volt, 60 Hertz. And most of your appliances are designed around 120 volt, 60 Hertz. So if you're starting a window unit or RV air conditioner or some high load components, that extra few volts can be helpful. And this inverter is available with 120 volts output, but they shipped it at 110 volts. But I'm fixing to change that and make it more suitable for my needs. So before I proceed any further, you can see I've already moved the screws. There's a hidden tamper sticker under the cover of this inverter. So if you remove the cover yourself, you're going to void your warranty and the company will know this. And by removing the cover of this inverter to expose the electronic components inside, it could be dangerous. You could be injured. You could destroy the inverter. You could damage the inverter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just documenting what I'm doing and the changes I'm making. Your experiences, your choices may be completely different. I mean, after all, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to hit the power switch a couple of times to make sure there's no juice left in the capacitors before I open this cover. I've already pulled the display cord previously, so it saves some time. So that display cord ties in right there. So I'm going to be using the remote display since I removed the display that's on the cover right there. Uh, the inverter switches off. Let me put a battery on it. So now I have a 12 volt battery powering up the electronics on this inverter. So now there are live components again. Now I'm gonna turn the remote switch on right here and then turn the inverter on and then all the 120 volt or 110, fixing to be 120 volt stuff will be energized. So now it's dangerous to touch inside. So I put a standalone meter on the AC output on the inverter. So we got the display right here showing 110 volts and the standalone meter 109.8.7 bouncing back and forth. So this inverter already has pretty good automatic voltage regulation for the output. I really didn't get any voltage drops or sags on the AC side during my load testing of this inverter. So I'm just gonna bump the voltage up a little bit. So I noticed during the initial review of this inverter, there were two different variable resistors on the control circuit right here, trim potentiometers, if you will. So I took a few minutes and studied how this is laid out. Uh, VR1 labeled here, VR1 labeled here, part of the control circuit for this inverter. Now, what I found is this right here should be our voltage adjustment, just right here to change the output voltage. And if you notice, there is a sealant right there to lock down the adjustments and also kind of serve as a tamper indicator you have somebody to make a warranty claim and they saw you was in here fiddling around. Uh, they could tell that that's been broken or moved from the original position. So I'm going to adjust the voltage up. I'm going to try to target 120.0 volts. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. All right, there's 120.4. Let it sit right there for just a second. I need to turn it down just a touch, just a minute amount. Too far. All right, 120.0 on the meter right there, showing 121 on its built-in display. If you're a real OCD, you could turn it back down to hit 120 right here, but you might be a slight bit under on a standalone instrument. So let's just back it off a little bit and see where, up oh, right there, up oh, too far. So I need to be just under 120, so about 119. 0.9, try and get to 119.9. But I'm fine with the display showing 121, and then my meter is showing 120, so 
Hey, I'm just going to leave it at right there, 120 on the nose. So I'm happy with my voltage right there. I can put a little dab of sealant back on this, and a lot of times you can use a paint marker and that paint will hold it. So I'm just going to hit with a drop of paint marker right there that should secure it. Once it dries, keep it from moving. So that about wraps up today's video. I got the inverter all buttoned back up now, ready to be put into service. So please check back soon to see how I'll be utilizing this 12 volt, 3000 watt inverter. Hope y'all enjoyed the video today. As always, thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one.